Okay, time to talk about Little Thieves. Hello fellow book nerds, this is Gabby and today I'm having a little review for you of all of the Little Thieves by Margaret Owen. This is a new release that just came out in October and I was very excited about it because I think it's a retelling of some kind of fairy tale, I think German, with the influences of this book. So I assume so, I don't know. Every month on my channel I talk about new releases and then you vote on what you'd like me to review and this book won, so let's talk about it. Let's start off with a little bit of a synopsis. So in Little Thieves we follow Vanya who is the daughter of death and fortune. When she was a little child her mother took her to the woods and asked the gods of fortune death and fortune to take Vanya because she believes that she, as a seven child, no, 13th child of a 13th child, she was unlucky and she had enough mouths to feed basically. So she got rid of Vanya and asked death and fortune to take care of her. They decided to do it. So they're her grandmothers, but when she was, I think, 13, um, they let her go into the real world and she became a servant at this uh, rich household. And she was quite mistreated there. So when she saw a chance to for a better life, she took it. She took the pla place of the princess of the house called Giselle, Giselle, Giselle um, called Giselle. And uh, she stole her face with uh, help of magical pearls and just lived as the princess for a year. While living as a princess, she also moonlighted as a thief. So she's what's known as the Phantom Penny. And she's been robbing the aristocracy of this kingdom for a year. One night she robs the wrong household and the the goddess of something, I don't remember what she was goddess of, but the goddess of something curses her so that Vanya will become rubies by the end of the full moon unless she makes up for her greed. Um, so like I said, I think it's a retelling. This world is definitely inspired by like German um, folklore and the world itself. It's like within the world they use a lot of um, German words and stuff. So I think it's a retelling of a German fairy tale, I assume that the girl ch changes into rubies at the end of it. So first, let's talk about writing. This book is really interestingly written, actually. It kind of feels like a modern story. It reminded me of Deadpool, with Vanya being like the narrator of the story and kind of being quite modern at times. They didn't, like, it's a high fantasy and it's supposed to be set in like medieval times, um, but the language itself wasn't really old. It was quite contemporary. It added a really cool dimension to the story. I actually really enjoyed it. And I think that the breaking of the fourth wall made it like a breath of fresh air and it kind of felt modern and fun and like playful and all of that was great I do feel like some they kind of gave up like it wasn't as consistent like it was very prevalent in the beginning and I didn't notice as much throughout the story and then it was pretty prevalent towards the end as well and I guess that's true of like any narration based story like when I think about Deadpool like he narrates a lot well maybe he narrates more than normal stories but they don't always narrate the same amount all the time so I understand it. I did enjoy that. I thought it was very well done, but maybe it should have been a little bit more like consistent. Now let's talk about plot. So I actually was really pleasantly surprised because I feel like from hearing the synopsis, you don't think so, but this is a bit of a mystery novel, as in like there's a little investigation, we're trying to uncover like insidious plot and bit of politics. And I feel like when I first heard the description, I thought it'd be more like I don't know, a bit more bland, boring, but it was actually really, really fun and I really enjoyed the, like I said, the investigation element of it and like how they all came together and there was way more characters that I thought would be important. So that was a very cool part of the story as well as like the more like fairy tale retelling parts of it that were more, um, I guess what I expected from it. So pleasant surprise. I love a good bit of investigative work. It was really, really fun and... I definitely told the story I wanted to tell and I really, really appreciate it. Thought it was really adorable. We can get into that a bit more when we talk about themes. Overall, yeah, I just thought both writing and the plot were breath of fresh air, interesting, something with a spin and I really enjoyed that. I do want to say that apparently this book has a sequel and I don't want it and I don't think it's necessary and I don't understand where it's gonna go. This is a finished story, the arc of the main character is completed to me and I feel like I hate it when a sequel 
takes like a well-completed arc and just expands it and kind of makes the character go back on itself so that the character has to learn basically the same lesson like three times over. Um, I find that very frustrating so I'm really hoping that's not what's happening in this book because um, I find it yeah frustrating and I don't want that. So I don't know about the sequel. I think if it maybe was written like a companion novel because the name of the series is like Little Thieves and the whole concept of like Little Thieves being people that steal on small scale but then politicians and that kind of thing being the big thieves so maybe if another Little Thief comes up and I'm up for it then um so if it was like a different character but same kind of universe and maybe another retelling or something there's definitely a lot of fairy tales about greed anyway. I would be on uh, board for that but not just a direct sequel. Like I hate it. Like this is a completed book with a completed character arc with a completed plot. I don't I don't like it and I don't understand why we need a sequel. <laughs> Okay, now let's talk about characters. So, I think the reason why, like I said, I'm frustrated by the idea of a sequel is because Vanya is an amazing character with an amazing arc. And I really enjoy that. I don't want to ruin it. So, like I said, Vanya, I really, really like her. She has so many flaws. Like, it's unreal. But it all comes from somewhere. You see how she struggled when she was young, how impacted her, how she's grown and did little steps and how other people's kindness and understanding really changed and helped her and then you also see how she goes back to the bad habits and you understand where she's coming from and I really appreciate that I just liked a very how well and thought out it was and how it played on the theme of grief but also like um neglect and how we become what we're forced to become I really loved all that so why ruin it with a sequel but Vanya is a very fun protagonist because she's not too serious she's not too good she's not like pure or whatever she's got her issues she's got stuff to figure out you're very frustrated by her and her decisions and her greed but you can also see that she's an amazing friend and when she actually puts herself towards other people I just like how that came in so Vanya awesome and I really like the lessons we learned with her and I just really appreciate her then we have Junior Prefect Americ Conrad. I really like his character. I didn't even mention him in the synopsis because the book doesn't mention him either. But I just want to say I loved how he was challenging Vanya and how he came into his own and become an own, his own character. So he's the main love interest. But I just really like how that played out. I just enjoyed their chemistry. I had the feels. I had the butterflies. You know, I don't get butterflies that often recently. So it's just really fun to see like a very well constructed romance. And and the, what they meant to each other and they grew together I loved it and I just like I said I love that he was an actual character in and of himself rather than just like a blank slate or something and at first you call, he comes in and you're like mm, I'm not sure about that but then you're like oh okay sir okay sir don't look at my notes <laughs> There's also the character of Giselle or Giselle or she's the actual princess. Real, I liked her character. I think she definitely could have done with a bit more development because she is like the other part of the equation when it comes to her and Vanya and the whole switcheroo and all of that. And it just felt like her and Vanya need to have like a heart to heart that I probably, like I didn't quite get it. I didn't get the heart to heart I wanted, but that's fine. I guess that's fine. But I wish that if that anything could be improved, if any relationship could be improved, I think it was that one because because I just needed a little bit more from it. Then we have Ragni, who is like a lovable sidekick and I love her, she's amazing. Overall, I think that secondary characters were very well developed in this book. I cared for all of them, I got a sense for all of them. They really shined and had a personality that I could relate to and understand and appreciate. So secondary characters were very well done in this book. And I think that's what makes it a very well-rounded story that you come to care about because it's not just Vanya, um, but it's the people around her and then you appreciate them a little bit more as well. Lastly, let's talk about themes. So like I said, there is quite a lot of them. Probably the most prevalent is greed and belonging and how we make other, like how people are driven to making bad decisions and where it's coming from. So I really like how that was explored. Obviously the theme of like turning into your greed, um, very on the nose, but really good. And I liked seeing like when the curse slowed down, when it sped up and like how it was directly uh, cor correlated to Vanya's decisions, but also how Vanya's decisions were directly impacted by other characters and their decisions and what they decided to do. And I really like the concept of 
great thieves and little thieves and like how it's condoned by society or like not condoned by it's like uh accepted by society that well politicians and all, all of them they're all corrupt but like that's fine but the little people is who you need to worry who are fighting to survive and it's just like whatever how much however much you have it's never enough especially with vanya like she made a lot of money but it was never enough but she never felt secure enough so it always had to be more and more and more and you really so see where that came from and you really understand it so i appreciated that lesson that we were taught and i thought that was a very very poignant and very touching story and resolution to the story so overall really good yeah very good themes and i also liked how trauma kind of caught con like tra trauma kind of transferred from one type of experience to another and it came back e echoing even a while after and i just liked how all of that was handled i really found it touching okie doke so that is it for my review overall thoughts i really enjoyed this book i think it was well written it was like i said a breath of fresh air something new unexpected something that you don't get every day it just felt nice in the fantasy genre to read something new and exciting and the way it was written was fun at first i was like unsure about it but then it really grew on me i like the characters i like the story i liked what it had to say so all of that was brilliant like i said i don't need a sequel but like whatever i ended up giving the book four stars so i would really recommend if you're looking for like a nice high fantasy that's also kind of like down to earth and funny and maybe a bit modern i would really recommend it and i'm really tempted to read more about margaret owen because i really like her writing i know she wrote the merciful crow series is that what it's called and and it sounds like it's a very fun like cast based system which i'm very interested in so i really want to check it out some, at some point but yeah this was a solid solid entry don't need a sequel though okay guys thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed it i don't know what happened in the end um <laughs> Uh, anyway I really hope you enjoyed the video if you enjoyed the book as well let me know if you've read it before what do you think about it do you agree with me disagree anything I said that really picked your interest and want to pick up the book let me know but thank you so much for watching uh if you could lament co like lament if you could like comment subscribe I'd really really appreciate it really helps me out but that's it from me and I'll see you in my next one bye